What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Alrighty, so we're finally here in Snowpoint City. It's been a long, arduous adventure, and uh, I'm finally glad that I'm here. And, uh, yeah, I checked my, uh, my other videos that I was going to come out with. That's the last episode wasn't the longest one that I'm uh, that I've ever made. Trust me, guys. There's another one. And look at this, Maylene. She's uh, asking me if I'm taking the gym leader challenge. She's gonna be seeing Candace pretty soon here, and she is the user of Ice type Pokemon. So she's telling me just be careful. Make sure to have a uh, Fighting type Pokemon. I don't know, Fire type Pokemon are, are really really good too. What have you? You know that kind of stuff. Now. We're gonna have a battle right here. Uh, I believe this girl right here is one of a few Pokemon trainers that you can go around in the cities and actually uh, battle them inside the inside the Pokemon Center, which is cool. Which is always a good thing for me to like start off the episode with Pokemon battles and all that stuff. I guess I don't know. Anywho, guys, did you guys enjoy my first episode of Pokemon Leaf Green and the second one? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff here on my channel. It's year number 10. And Draven's uh, going to pull out all the stops. You know, Pokemon it's Platinum, Pokemon Black. Uh, shoot, I might even do some Pokemon Adventure games. Uh, some other ones. You know, like uh, the trading card game or something. I don't know, I'm just talking out of my ass. But hopefully, hopefully, just hopefully, we'll have something going on right here. Anywho, here we are battling a Clefairy. And uh, Gaia number 2 is just getting its arms nice and ready to kick some ass right here and look at that drain punch defeats the clefairy oh yes and that is how you do it oh yeah and uh, let's see who is next oh she's coming out with another clefairy I think I should just stick with the uh, you know guy number two kick some butt take names that kind of stuff I don't know whatever now this week you will be seeing just three episodes guys uh, one today, Monday, uh, the other one Wednesday, and the next one on Friday. And that is ma that is mainly because I got something else special for you guys. S since you guys are like, you know, you know, happy about Pokemon Leaf Green and all that stuff. Trust me, guys. I have lots and lots of plans for you guys right here. And, uh, yeah, next week we shall be going with two a five episode thing. Um, and that's mainly because, like I said early on, there is a longer episode than the last one. Trust me. Now, I'm going to be going around here. I think there's going to be some hidden items around here or something. I don't know. Normally, I would be doing a tour of this town, but really, there's not a lot of stuff to see around here except for the, I guess, the ancient shrine around here. But we won't be going in there. And uh, this guy's talking to me about Pokemon. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's see. So, uh, snow point. Oh, the Snowpoint Temple. That is uh, another point of interest right there. Uh, later on, we will be going in there and stuff. And then, let's see. Any chance you have a Metacham? Oh, this is the biggest robbery of all Pokemon. Now, this person is asking for a Metacham for her Haunter. We all know Haunter evolves through trading. And I remember, uh, like, training, literally training a Metacham for four, like, to level 40 just to trade for that Haunter. But when you get that Haunter, it doesn't evolve. You know why? Because Nintendo likes to give you a big ass middle finger by putting a Neverstone on it. Trust me, guys, you don't want that. Anywho, now if you talk to this person right here, he'll be able to teach your Pokemon a move that it's learned before. Um, let's see. Yeah, it has nothing that I that I want to teach. But yeah, back to the person right there. Yeah, I. <laughs> oh my God. Nintendo, why you be so mad? Why you be so cruel? I literally trained a Metacham up to level 40 just to get a level 40 Gengar, and all I get is a level 40 Haunter. That really pissed me off. And uh, again, this is the Snowpoint Temple. Nothing too important right now because we will be, uh, you know, we're, we're still in the main adventure. Uh, of, of course, we will be going there a little bit later on. Now, the most important part right here is this. We got ourselves an Ultra Ball. It's always nice, you know. You know, it's a special place when there's an Ultra Ball involved. And uh, that actually takes us to the to the next island. I don't even know what it was called. So, biggest biggest part right here is we're going to be taking on the Snowpoint City Gym. And uh, I think most of this episode right here involves me trying to figure out how to get through this whole area right here. Uh, of course, we have to have momentum to slide through this whole area and break those big snowballs. And part of the... Part of the the trick right here is that these patches of snow will actually slow you down and sometimes it takes away that momentum that you, you you're trying to get 
in order to destroy the snowballs. And, uh, well, before we go and destroy more snowballs, we're going to be taking on an ace trainer right here. Her name is Alicia. Coming out with a, sn a sneasel, and I'm coming out with Donatello. Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, there's that screech attack that we don't like. I don't even know what, we, what we're going to do right there. And uh, here we go with the return attack. Hopefully, this takes him out. Probably should have trained my Pokemon a little bit more. But you know what? It takes a nice chunk out of its HP right there, which is always good. Very, very good. Very, very good. And look at that. Destroyed. Sneasel. Destroyed. That's right. And uh, let's see. What else, what else can you have around here? Ah, Fire-type Pokemon, yes. Make sure to have Fire-type Pokemon like I do here. Hera should be thriving in here. Unless uh, something stupid happens, like, you know, it faints or that, you know, supposed Ice-type Pokemon has, like, a Fire-type or a Water-type or maybe just, you know, a Fighting-type move. That kind of stuff. So, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go with the Fire Fang and uh, Sneasel fast as hell. All right. Here we go. Fire Fang. For the win. Oh, yes. And that is how you defeat a Sneasel. Okay. Alrighty. We're literally working with fire right there. And uh, Starblade grows to level 42. And uh, that's it. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. So who is next? Who's next? Like Goldbrick says. Uh, let's see. There's about six trainers here maybe. I don't even know. Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to figure this out right here. How to destroy all these big old snowballs and stuff. Um, you know, we're going to figure that out when we battle this guy right here. Alright, let's do this. Bring it. So here we go. Snover versus Donatello. Crud, I picked the wrong typing right there. And of course, Snover does have its effect with its snow warning. It's whipping up, you know. You gotta love that. And, uh, well, I'm gonna be switching it out right here and going to the man, the myth, the legend. I'm just kidding. The female legend right there. Hera. And, uh, well, that icy wind is gonna do do us a number right there. It might lower our speed, right? Can it? No, I didn't lower our speed. Oh, yeah, it did. It lowered our speed. Now I'm angry. Grr. And, uh, oh, yeah, the hail. You gotta love the hail, too. Yeah, yeah. God, I hate Snow Point City. It's all icy and stuff. And here we go, Fire Fang. Let's get this. And uh, that should be quadruple damage, right? Yes. All right, it's over. Defeated. I'm feeling great. And yeah, okay. So the hail continues right here for another two or three turns and all that stuff. And uh, we're gonna keep on getting hit. Remember, if uh, if there's snow or if there's hail, I should say, uh, make sure to have a nice type Pokemon. That will that way it won't be affected. And uh, well. We're going to keep on getting hit first, but Hera, you know, it's a tough little puppy right here, and it's going to destroy that Sneasel. Oh, yeah. Go to sleep, Sneasel. Go to sleep. Alrighty. Okay, so that's another one down right there. And look at that. Hera grows to level 41, which is also great. And uh, that's another victory for us. Now, while I was battling this guy, I was figuring out how to get around this area, too. Probably should have gone onto like uh, Wikipedia or something. No, no, Bul Wikipedia, Bulbapedia. And uh, like I said before, those snow patches right there is gonna—they stop your momentum when you really need it. And uh, yeah, I'm, tr I'm just gonna try and figure out my way around here, all blind and stuff. Okay, so did I battle that guy? I don't think so. Okay, so let's see. If I go right here, yes, it will. Oh, okay, so that destroys one big section, but it's not the section that we need. And uh, let's go right here. That could have... Oh, yeah, that patch of snow, again, ruins our momentum. And, uh, yeah, we can't do stuff about it, so we're going to be moving on. Let's see, we're going to go to the stairs right here. And I think if I go up here and go down here... Yes. Okay, so I think I know how, how to stop this or how to how to destroy everything it's just gonna take a little bit of a, a little bit of work right here so here we go another battle ace trainer savannah and she's coming out with her snow run right here all right Gaia number two let's do this bring it drain punch for the win oh yeah 
And, uh, well, let's see. Does it work? It does work. Hell yeah. It works perfectly. And, uh, well, let's see. It's coming out with another snow run right there. So let's keep it going right here. And, uh, you know, snow run, it's a pretty cool Pokemon. I like the. I wanted to use it over in uh, Hoenn, but unfortunately I couldn't because uh, that, that 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 pool would or no, not not that pool that cave would not would not alter you know you know what I'm talking about guys and uh, there we go snow runt defeated and that is how you do it hell yeah okay alrighty and uh, wow Glalie. I haven't seen that Pokemon in a while, so I'm gonna switch it up right here. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna stay. I'm gonna go with Gaia number two. Need to. Alrighty, bring it. Let's go. And uh, yeah, I, I forgot that. Y yeah, it has five PP. Does it have five PP? Train punch? I don't know. But here we go. Psycho cut. Does it do the trick? It takes a nice chunk. And uh, there's that hail again. It's not hitting him, but it's hitting me. And, uh, okay. And uh, there's that protect. Oh, crud. Ah, oh, crud. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, keep on uh, fixing this whole thing up right here. Let's try and hit him. Come on. Come on. And there's that Ice Fang. We don't like Ice Fang. Why you do this to me? I don't know. So here we go. Psychic Attack for the win. And not for the win because, of course, ugh special is not that big and now ah oh, crud yeah so this is what dragged the whole the whole thing right here and oh god that protect okay so I kind of shot myself in the foot right here just because of uh just because I yeah that's psychic attack probably need to switch it I don't even know again later on in our episodes guys I do listen and uh, yeah I switch everything up right here and uh, yeah, psychic. Will it do it? Mm, and it. Oh my god, almost did it. And the hail stopped. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm actually gonna heal my Pokemon. That actually came. That was actually good timing for the hail to stop. So there we go. Guy at number two is being healed up. And that Glalie will just not go and he will not die. So there it is, another Ice Fang. Hole, and it thought it was gonna beat me like that. Oh my god. Gaia number two, you suck. Okay. It's a good thing I always stock up on something. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, an ether. You know what? I'm gonna take a hit right here. I'm gonna take a few hits. I'm gonna rev I'm gonna take a it's drain punch and all that stuff. It missed. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to use this full heal right here and heal up my Gaia number two. Now this time I'm gonna use Drain Punch because I need to. It has to. It has to happen. Come on. And here we go. Another Ice Fang and does it do it? Oh crud. It are you serious? Oh my god. See what are the chances of me getting frozen twice? Some bullshit right there. Okay, so Alrighty. Heal up my Pokemon. Freaking ridiculous! You see, I'm, I'm like, I'm, oh god, Ugh. and uh, oh yeah. So this is why this episode lasts for a long, long time because uh, Draven forgot to, uh, you know, use any kind of physical attacks or heal up and all that crud. And uh, right now I'm just getting frustrated. Okay, Ice Fang again. It's the same process. If you freeze me one more time, I swear I'm gonna just throw shit. Okay. And here we go, Drain Punch and Ice Fang again. Oh, this is getting frustrating. <laughs> okay, I faint. <laughs> Fuck me, right? Oh, God, I hate you. Okay. This is a bit of a risk, but screw it. I'm going to use Star Blade right here. And uh, yeah, I'm lowering your attack, you asshole. And here we go, close combat. You know, something that we should have done earlier. Just go with the all out close combat. This guy would not die. Would not. And there we go. Suck it, Glalie. Oh, God, I hate you. Yeah, I could have prevented all of this. I, I really... Sh yeah, I could have prevented all of this by just doing that. By a uh, fighting-type move, but no. No. No, Draven had to be a dumbass. <sighs> okay, so I don't know why I did that. I'm going to just revive my Pokemon, heal them all, and then uh, just destroy everybody right here because, you know... Prevented me from finishing this episode in less than 15 minutes. 
That's right. Okay, so there we go. Everybody's healed. You're healed. You get an ice pack. You get an ice pack. Jesus. Okay, so let's see. I'm moving on. And yeah, I actually thought that that was going to work. But it would seem that the stairs actually have a... Like, it actually slows you down as well. So I'm going to go... I'm going to have to go a different route right here. Um, I have to battle this guy. Finish him off. Do everything. And, uh, and and just figure it all out. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, Ace Trainer Anton, going up against another Glalie at level 44. So this actually tells me that yeah, I really need to start training my Pokemon a little bit better. So let's go to Hira right here. Oh God, I hate you. Oh God, I hate you. And there we go, Ice Beam. Does it do it? I don't know. We shall find out. All right, so here we go, Fire Fang. Hopefully this this actually helps us win. And uh, oh crap, this Glalie does have a nice uh, actually does have a nice uh, our, our defense and stuff. And there it goes again with another Ice Beam. Hate you. And alrighty, alrighty, okay. And there we go. Okay, alrighty, everybody's getting experience points except for Starblade, you know. It doesn't do anything right there. And uh, let's go right ahead and just move on. Let's see. Um, Alright, so I think I'm going to have to go down right here. Probably, I don't even know. Okay. Alright, I'm going to switch up my Pokemon. Because, of course, Toothless is a Dragon type Pokemon. Not going to be effective around here. And I'm going to go get slowed down again. Wow. Okay, so I already got the, perimi the, the perimeter uh, snowballs right here. I need to get the middle ones right here, and I'm trying to figure that one out. I know many of you guys are just like saying, Draven, go there! But you know, Draven, it's Draven. Being a, you know, headache and all that stuff. And I think I figured it out again. Holy crud. Okay, I destroyed that one. That's always good. And I think I already know how to get the other one right here, but it takes me a while to figure that one out. Let's see. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go right here, go right here, and okay, so around this point right here, guys, this is where I, I start acting like, oh well, where where do I go from now? I don't know, be a dumbass and destroy everything. I don't even know. Okay, so I figured it out. Right here, right here, right no. Yeah, so right around this point right here, guys, this is where I actually was like, oh okay, well maybe I can go right here and hit it down the middle but I keep on forgetting the stairs the snow patches they slow me down it's not really gonna work so I'm just gonna keep on moving on until like you know we get to the point where I figure everything out alright let's see right here and uh, right here right here right here and right here aquí right here aquí la fi and right here still trying to figure it everything out and uh no, that worked for something else. I know, I know, I can hear you guys right now. It's like, Draven, come on! It's right there! <laughs> oh, God, okay. Oh, God. Oh, my God, okay. I probably should have edited this one out right, out right here, but I wanted to see you guys that, you know, Draven's not perfect at all. <laughs> oh, God. I should smack myself, my past self, like my few days ago self. You know, if I can go try time traveling, that would be great. All right, and right here. See, it won't destroy it like that. I have to go over there just to get, just to slide down. So there we go, and here it is. Wow, you see how easy that would have been if I would have figured it out, just like I figured it out right now. Oh God, because remember, guys, I'm doing, I'm not doing live com. I'm actually doing like a. Well, I'm actually, I actually recorded this episode before I even. Uh, you know, I or you know, I recorded this episode without non-narrating and all that stuff. So you guys get what I'm talking about. If, I, if it would have been right now, holy crud, it would have been less than 25 minutes. But no, Draven, dumbass, you know that kind of stuff. Uh, comment down if you agree on that one. Don't agree. Seriously, if you agree, you will get banned. I'm just playing. <laughs> oh my god, I'm feeling so stupid. What the hell are you doing, Draven? Okay. So right here, I think I'm already done. So I'm just going to go downstairs right here. Go straight up. Look at that. And we finally get to the gym leader. Finally. Oh, my God. 
Ah, oh. me talking shit on myself. This is always fun. It really is. Alrighty. Who is next? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Episode 53. Going to destroy you. God dang it. All right. So here we go, guys. Our next gym battle, and it's against Candace, the Ice type gym leader. We all know how to defeat Ice type Pokemon. You know, Fire types, Fighting types. Uh, I believe Steel types, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Wait, I'm trying to check that out. Yes, it probably is. So here it is, guys. She's coming out with a Sneasel, and I'm coming out with Hydra number four because it's the tank right now. Sneasel, of course, is also a Dark type Pokemon. So just be aware that you could also use a well, Fighting type moves is quadruple damage on her. Or, yeah, it is a her. So, there we go. We missed on the thunder, and there we go again with another faint attack. It's a small dude versus a big lizard, uh, ocean lizard right here. And, uh, I'm missing... Oh, God. Yeah, Candace is just having fun right now. And there, she switches out, and Piloswine is right here. So, she made it a little bit easier for me, just because I do have Surf, Piloswine, is a ground type or a rock type? I can't I can't remember, but it's very, very weak to water and it's trying to use Stone Edge. Misses, so here we go again. Surf attack. There we go. There we go. Okay, alrighty. And uh more experience points. And Starblade grows to level 43, which is always great. And here she comes out with her most powerful Pokemon, Frostlass, and uh now I have to switch it out and go with, uh, you know, the type of Pokemon that I need. And, of course, Frostlass in this generation is being featured as the newest Pokemon, newest evolution to Snowver, I think. No, not Snowver, Snowrunt. It is both a Ghost and Ice-type Pokemon, and right here I do have a, somewhat of an advantage, but as you can see, it does like to use Double Team to, you know, increase its evasiveness. It's just pissing me off right now. Nothing's going right for Draven right here. How did Barry beat this girl? So pissed off at that guy. And uh, there we go. Super effective. And Frostlass looking like a champ. Wanting to heal itself with the Citrus Berry. So there we go again. Faint attack. It will not miss. It will not miss. Let's go. Let's go. It will not miss. Here we go. Faint attack for the win. Alrighty. And that is how you do it. So that's the most powerful Pokemon right there. And uh, who is next? Oh, just bring out that Sneasel. I want to destroy it with my bear paws. And it's going to be coming out with a bomb of snow right here. So let's see what we got to do. Quadruple damage. Just because it's a grass type Pokemon. But be aware of that uh, snow warning as well. Make sure to have an S ice type Pokemon too. Alrighty. So let's go with Fire Fang. Let's do it. Let's do it. And its HP is going low, low, low. And that is how you defeat him. Suck it, Obama Snow. And, uh, alrighty. Experience points all around. You get experience points, you get experience points, and you definitely get experience points right there. And, uh, of course, we're going to get hit by the hail because not a nice type Pokemon. And here she's coming out with her Sneasel. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to go straight to Gaia number two. Mainly for that fighting type move. That's right. Okay. So bring it. Sneasel. And she's going to come out. I'm going to break the ice. Bring out my last resort Pokemon. Technically, that wasn't your last resort Pokemon right there. So let's go with the Drain Punch. The move that should have defeated that, uh, that, uh, what you might call Glalie earlier. And that was a very good move. God dang it, guy at number two. You're really getting your, your ass rocked right here. And the Drain Punch. Destroy Sneasel. Look at that. Oh yeah, you didn't like that. That's right. And Gaia number two gains experience points. And that is how you win another gym battle, guys. Despite all the screw-ups that I've made. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so she's supposed to give us this. We get ourselves the Icicle Badge, which is always great, guys. Oh, man, I've been meaning to get that. And uh, now we can use Rock Climb. We've already found that. And uh, we also get the TM-72, which is, what, Fro or Avalanche. It's a very good move. Alrighty. Okay, so uh, let's see. Ice type gym leader, distant, trouble with, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so that is how you do it, guys. So now, 
we're gonna have to be <laughs> we still have to continue our little uh, Team Galactic issue uh, event or anything like that because that's exactly what we're gonna do because we're the heroes right here anywho let's go ahead and take a, take a look at our gym badges so that's seven badges seven friggin badges guys we started this whole adventure on July 7th and it's already seven badges Stay tuned in the next episode where we'll be continuing our adventure. See you guys.